This is a brief introduction to cadmium sulfide photocells, also known as photoresistors or CDS cells. I'm your host, Lewis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. All right. In the picture up here above, you can see what some typical photocells look like. Um, there are two wire devices. They merely change resistance based on light intensity. The brighter the light, the lower the resistance. Typically, they are connected in a voltage divider circuit. If you look at the circuit in figure A, as the resistance drops due to higher light intensity, the voltage here at V will increase. Vice versa, as the resistance decreases in figure B, the voltage at V will drop. Once again, as resistance drops in figure A on R1, the voltage at V will increase, while in figure B over here, as the light intensity increases, the voltage will drop at V because of more uh, voltage being dropped across the resistor. This is the photocell circuit that you saw in the video with the comparator. While the video used a um, LM741 op amp, this uses an one fourth of an LM339, which is designed to be a comparator. Here we're operating a relay, and again, it depends. I can either reverse the resistor or photocell their positions, or I can simply swap the plus and minus inputs and do the same thing. Here are two photocell circuits. Uh, as you will see in the following video, this is what's used in your dust to dawn electric eyes and your street lights. This is a normally closed relay. When the light intensity increases during the day, the resistance of R1 will drop, the relay will be energized, breaking the contact and turning off your uh, street light. Another circuit that I've used, it's sort of fun, is I've used a triac and a photocell in series with this resistor. It's a current limiting resistor. If I shine a light on the photocell, of course, the resistance will decrease, giving me enough gate current on the triac to turn on the light bulb. This completes a brief introduction to cadmium sulfide photocells. Uh, you can check out the link and go to my webpage and it will give you more information on this. Let's see if we can't find a little bit more somewhere else and see what we can come up with. Hold tight for a moment. High enough. We're looking at a uh, photocell circuit using a comparator. For your photocells you will see them around various parts of the board. It's a two wired device cadmium that's an LED that's not one but most of the rest of these are of course photocells as is this cadmium sulfide photocells for example just change resistance um, based on light intensity as the light gets brighter the resistance goes down in the dark, it could be over a million ohms. In a very bright light, it's a few hundred ohms. Let me plug this in. You just saw an LED come on. This is a comparator circuit. Um, one input has a voltage divider with this photocell. As you notice, I can put my hand over it and block the light, and it goes off. I can adjust the sensitivity to a large degree, or I can cut it off. I can make it quite sensitive, or I can make it 
not so sensitive where I have to really cover the LED to get rid of the light. So I can adjust the sensitivity by adjusting the pot as shown. Now I'm going to re reverse the plus and minus inputs on the comparator. Now you notice the LED is off. If I cover up the cell, it will come on. So just by reversing the inputs, the plus and minus on a comparator, be it an op amp or an LM311, this here is an op amp comparator, I can turn a LED relay or whatever you want to call it on and off or in the dark or turn it on in the dark. Either way you want to do it. Real quickly while I'm here, I'm sure you will recognize the next device when I pull it up. If you've seen these things, this is an electric eye that you see on your street lights. Take off the cover and you have a photo cell in series with a normally closed relay. When it's dark and there's high resistance on the cell, the relay is deactivated and that's what cuts on your light. During the day, when the light shines on it and the resistance drops, the relay is energized and it breaks the contact, cutting off your street light. So, this is a so much for this part of the video on photocell circuits. Let's explore uh, the circuits themselves and take a closer look at these low-tech but very useful devices. Here is a cutaway picture of a photocell. You can see the actual material as you saw elsewise. It's usually in a metal or glass um, container with a clear glass window. Here's another photo cell illustration. This is the symbol for one up here. You'll notice the little lambda symbol. Over here is another breakout of the cell itself. It, it has usually some kind of substrate and an electrical path through the cadmium sulfide uh, material. If you look at the graph down here below, you will see that from dark, your resistance is um, 10 to the 6. It's over a million ohms. But as you increase the luminix, the illumination and its intensity, it'll easily drop below 1,000 ohms. My measurements show that um, I've got it down to around 250 ohms in a bright light, depending on the cell. They're all a little, they're all a little different. Depends on the length and thickness of the material. Here's another view of the comparator circuit that I used uh, in the video that I used in the video. Again, it's an op amp. There's your comparator feedback, your voltage divider. As where this variation here uses a variable resistor in series with the photocell. I used a fixed resistor in series with the photocell, but I, I had these two resistors for, um, formed by a potentiometer. But it works the same. Uh, you can use a transistor driver to energize a relay. Here's an illustration of using an Arduino Uno to read a photocell. Of course, we have a photocell in series with the resistor, and it's um, the output of the is fed into analog zero. And you can program whatever level you want from 0 to 1023 when you do an analog read and trip on an LED based on that reading. 
And this completes our view of photo cells. Um, hope you have a lot of fun. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.